everybody and welcome to Healing Gems. So today I want to talk to you about digestion and um, supplements. So just a quick disclaimer, um, as I always say, I am not a qualified nutritionist or anything like that. These are just things that I've picked up along the way that I found have helped me um, and from doing research myself and consulting nutritionists. So this is basically um, just my advice to you of what might help you um, on your healing journey. Okay, so um, for chronic fatigue, um, fibromyalgia, even um, conditions just like anxiety, um, it is quite um, important to make sure you're getting the right nutrients into your body. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a bit later on about what supplements can help, but before we talk about that, you have to make sure your digestive system is working um, correctly in order to absorb the nutrients from your food and from the supplements. Um, some nutritionists say it's not what you eat, it's what you absorb, which is most important. Because if you're not absorbing the um, nutrients, then obviously your body can't rebuild cells, it can't heal, um, as well as what it would if you um, were absorbing everything. Um, so, you know, it's really vitally important that you get all of these nutrients into your body. So just quickly about the um, digestive system then. So how do you know if your digestive system's not performing very well? To be honest, most people in this day and age do have some issues with their digestive um, system just because of the pace of life we live at modern day living, the amount of junk food that people eat. Um, but common symptoms are things like bloating after eating, um, feeling very full up very quickly. Um, it could be things such as constipation, or it could be the other way, it could be um, diarrhea. Um, in other cases, it could be things such as acid reflux, um, a feeling of something that's sort of like stuck um, in your throat. Um, it could be things like feeling sick after eating or even before eating. Some people have it feeling this sort of sick feeling constantly, and this is to do with um, acid. This is to do with um, having not enough acid in your stomach. And in fact, one of the problems that we have in society today is most people who get things like acid reflux and things like that, they think it's a, uh, a problem of having too much acid. Uh, within the stomach, but actually it's having too little, um, a lot of the time it is having too little acid in your stomach. And having too, too little acid in your stomach means that when you eat, it's not um, breaking the food down um, very well or very easily. Um, so therefore, you're not absorbing the nutrients um, within your body. Okay, so they're just some common symptoms of um, digestive problems, IBS is a big one um, that people experience. So once you know there's probably some issues within your digestive system and I would assume if you have chronic fatigue then you probably do have some sort of digestive problems. Um, so you want to try and balance things out a bit. So how do we do that? So again it's not an overnight um, it's not an overnight fix as with anything um, so you want to be making sure you're eating a balanced diet I know that sounds simple um, but you know you want to have a, a variety of good foods so cut out all of the um, processed stuff you know make it as natural um, ingredients as possible buy the best ingredients you can possibly afford to buy um, you know, it doesn't mean you have to rush out and buy the really expensive ingredients, but if you can afford to buy, you know, the organic or free range, um, or the slightly, um, slightly more expensive sort of fresh vegetables, um, then that's going to probably help um, a little bit more. So, yeah, getting a balanced diet, cutting out all of the junk, um, low sugar, um, you don't have to cut everything out completely, but you know, make sure you're not eating too much sugar, and that includes um, fruits as well. Some fruits um, have quite high sugar in them, so you're better off sticking to sort of like the berries, um, 
and that kind of fruit instead of eating lots of apples um, and bananas. So don't not eat um, eat them, but just don't have too many of them because they also have quite high um, sugar um, in them. Okay, so balanced diet um, is very essential. But you're probably gonna have to do a little bit more than that. So bitter foods are a really good way of stimulating stomach acid and digestion. So these could be such things as watercress, um, rocket, kale, um, even things like coffee, um, dark chocolate. You know, these are all bitter foods um, that can really help stimulate digestion. And what's probably, um, what is recommended is that when you have a meal that you would eat the say like just a handful of watercress or a, a bit of food like that just before you start eating your main meal because um, then that can help to break down um, the foods a bit quicker. Another little tip is um, apple cider vinegar. So you can take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with a tablespoon of warm water, just mix it together and drink it um, just five minutes before you're about to eat um, your meals or just your main meal. Um, and that again helps to start the breakdown of the food process. Another little trick is you can squeeze lemon um, or lime onto your food. Um, and again, that starts the breakdown process before you've even started to eat it. So um, when you have your meals, it might be, it's best to try and eat the protein um, before anything else. So if you've got fish or chicken um, on your plate, eat that before you eat all of the um, vegetables and whatever carbohydrate you've decided on. And talking about carbohydrates, um, it's best to stick to the uh, low refined um, carbohydrates, so no white pasta, white rice, um, because they again have quite a lot of sugar in them and they're also very difficult for your body to, to digest. So, you know, look at the brown rices, look at sweet potato. Sweet potato is easier to digest in the body than normal potato. But saying that, you know, normal potato is still okay. Um, but it's just, yeah, the high, highly refined white pastas and rices that you really want to avoid eating. Okay, so you might want to look at liquidizing your food. So liquidize your food, um, not every meal, but you might want to have, let's say, one meal a day that you liquidize or is of a liquid base, so it's easier to digest. So this could be, you know, having a smoothie um, first thing in the morning, or it could be making your own soup and having that liquidized. Um, again, that's just very much easier for the digestive system to process um, rather than sort of having lots of solids. And then eat small and often. Um, so obviously if you eat big meals, um, it is much harder for your digestive system to process that meal um, all in one go. So if you can break down meals, have smaller amounts at more regular intervals, um, again, it helps with the digestion, but also it helps to balance your sugar levels. Um, and I know with my um, journey through uh, chronic fatigue, I had real issues with balancing my um, sugar levels out. Um, so that, that helps just to eat little and often. Um, and then probiotics. Probiotics are a great way of trying to heal the digestive system. So these come in lots of different forms. I mean, you've got like the drinks, like Actimal. Um, the only thing I'd say about them is that they obviously do contain sugar and things like that. So it's probably best off with a, um, a supplement that you can buy uh, from health food shops. So I've got one here that I take, um, it's an Optibac, so you can buy them on Amazon, um, you can buy them from health food stores. Um, again, I've got no um, interest actually, you know, with the manufacturers of these products or anything. So these help, you can take um, one with every meal and they just really start to help, um, help to start getting all of the digestive tract working. Um, there's also something called kefir, C-K-E-F-I-R, so you can 
buy this, um, the only place I've seen it in the supermarkets is in Sainsbury's, but again it's got sugar and stuff in it and it only lasts for three days once you've opened the bottle, um, but I've recently just bought a kit online from Amazon to be able to make my own and this is a probiotic that you make yourself and it keeps for a long, long time. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, so that's the next stage for me, if just you know making sure I keep my digestive tract um, fit and healthy. Okay, so we've, we've talked about the digestive system. So just to recap, the top tips for you know, trying to repair um, your digestive system is eat a balanced diet. Try and introduce more bitter foods into your diet. One great way of doing this is in the morning, every day when you wake up, is squeeze um, a lemon into some water, um, a pint of water, and then drink that as your first drink of the morning. That starts to stimulate the digestive system. As well as drinking lots of ginger, um, ginger tea, licorice tea, um, peppermint tea, they're all really good for helping with the um, digestive system as well. So liquidize your food, um, eat small and often, eat your protein first um, within your main meal um, and start taking um, some sort of probiotic um, in order to help heal your system. So then that leads us on to what other supplements can we take um, to help with our chronic fatigue symptoms. So the one that I have found um, the most beneficial is magnesium. So there's different types that you can buy. I buy the magnesium shellate. Um, so I've got some here that I've had in the past. I've just bought some um, long bottle. Just bought some a new one here. So this is a good brand um, as well. So magnesium helps with. Um, so we all have magnesium within the body, um, but it gets depleted, um, especially with chronic stress, um, feeling unwell all the time. Um, it, it depletes your magnesium. So if you've got anxiety as well, magnesium is a very important um, supplement to try and make sure that you restore within the body. There's also magnesium that you can buy in spray form. Um, you just spray it onto parts of the body um, and it absorbs straight in. So this is, this is quite good. The only thing I would recommend is use it sparingly at first because it does have a tendency to sort of like itch a little bit why it gets absorbed into the body but that passes sort of after about five minutes so with the magnesium it does help with things like muscles um, so I used to get a lot of weak um, weak muscles muscle twitching restless leg um, just generally sort of like kind of sort of creeping um, feelings underneath the skin tingling feelings pins and needles that kind of thing, it can really help with those kinds of symptoms. Um, so yeah, magnesium is one that I definitely recommend. Um, and then also getting a good B complex. Um, so especially if you're a vegetarian um, or a vegan, then B12 is probably something that you might find that you could become deficient in um, because B12 is only found in animal products um, like meat. So B12 um, is important for the body's functions as we said. So you can get this in your B complex um, vitamin tablet, but you can also get it in things like um, it's like a, a food supplement that you can put on top of sort of, sort of salads um, and you can put it in soups. And let me. So it is called um, yeast flakes. So these are yeast flakes that you can buy. And you can, you can get them like Collins and Barrett or any kind of place like that. Um, but they contain B12. So especially if you are a vegetarian or you're a um, vegan, these, these are gonna be good for you to sprinkle on lots of things. Um, some people will think even just eat them by themselves, but that would be a bit dry for me. But yeah, worth checking that out just to make sure you're getting your, B, your B12. Okay, so they're the main ones that I would recommend. So definitely get yourself a good probiotic. 
look at some magnesium um, and look at your B complex, especially B12. And you can, if you want to, go to the doctors and ask to get your B12 levels checked. And they, um, well, I, I've had them done and they, they, they should be able to do it for you. Okay, right, so that's the digestion and supplements video. Any questions, please just ask below um, and I will do my best to answer them. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.